Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to share with you guys my experience going to NYU. Uh, I know college decisions are coming up relatively soon, so thought it would be helpful to share with you guys you know, my experience and what living in the city is like because I definitely know I was very curious myself before coming here. But quick disclaimer before we jump in, um, I am just one person out of like the bajillion people who've gone to this school, so definitely keep that in mind as I talk through my own experience going to this school. But it's going to be a long video, I have a coffee here, so let's jump right in. To give a little context, I recently graduated May of 2020 last year, so I am now an alumni. I went to NYU Stern School of Business specifically with concentrations in finance and data science. I know people are typically really curious about like what were your stats, how did you get in? Um, I would share, but it was so long ago that they aren't really relevant anymore, like my SAT score was still out of 2400, so I just don't think that would be really helpful, but I am going to pop up on the screen um, some stats that NYU provides on their website about their general admissions class statistics overview. Figured that would be more helpful. <laughs> NYU is one of the largest private universities in the US. I believe there are currently around 30,000 undergraduate students that attend this school. Um, it's also very global with campuses all around the world. I think they say they're number one in the number of international students as well as its study away program. So it's definitely a great school, but I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room, uh, which everyone knows is the incredibly high tuition and cost of living to go to NYU. And it definitely is true. For spring 2021 tuition at NYU Stern, undergraduate full-time student, your tuition runs at $27,748, which equates to $55,496 for a full year. And that's not even including your dorm, food, and just extra activities, you know? So it's definitely a very, very expensive school to go to. Every school does differ slightly, like Stern versus CAS versus Steinhardt, etc. But um, I'd say across the board, you're going to be looking at upwards of 50k a year. And something to note is that NYU is known for not having very great financial aid. I think just the overall socioeconomic status of NYU students is generally pretty high. Um, and that's definitely something to also consider if you are wanting to come to NYU is that you know you may be surrounded by peers or friends who want to go eat out every day or grab drinks at a bar or basically just explore the city and a lot of times it ends up being very large money expenditure activities so yeah it's just very expensive I feel like to both go to NYU and live in the city <music> If you are an incoming freshman, I do believe you are required to dorm and dorm costs are also very expensive, um, but they do differ slightly depending on what kind of dorm you're in. So there's traditional and apartment style and apartment style just means you also have a kitchen and typically some sort of living space area as well. Um, so traditional will be cheaper and apartment style more expensive. I looked at some prices of dorms in Manhattan. I, there are a few in Brooklyn as well, but I just focused on Manhattan for for the purpose of this video. So the cheapest one in Manhattan is Reuben Hall. It runs at $4,500 per semester and $9,000 for a full academic year. The reason why it's the cheapest is because it's the only one that does not have AC. So, you know, in New York City during the summertime, it does get pretty hot and humid. So it's just not very enjoyable having to go to sleep when you're like kind of sticky and dripping with sweat, you know? Um, but it is the cheapest option and the most expensive one it's going to be like mostly all the apartment style dorms and they're all going to be pretty much the same price it runs at $8,778 per semester and $17,556 for a full academic year so it is a lot more expensive but typically going to be a little bit more comfortable to live in um, throughout the year I would say almost everyone at least that I knew basically moved off campus after their first year, if definitely by the second year. Usually you pay either cheaper or like similar price, but you'll get your own room versus like in a dorm, um, you'll typically pay a really expensive price, but you'll also have to share a room with someone else. So uh, a lot of people just prefer that option. After their first year, um, they can move off campus. 
So clearly NYU is a very expensive school to attend, but you know, they try to make you think it's worth it with every admissions officer's favorite slogan, the city is your campus, which, you know, I agree, it's pretty much true. Uh, if you just look at where NYU, like the center location is, it's basically just a bunch of buildings surrounding a park, which is Washington Square Park. That is definitely something to consider if you are thinking about coming to NYU, um, you are not going to be getting a very traditional college experience I would say you would probably become a lot more independent which some people find it really hard um, especially the first couple weeks or like the first year just because you know it doesn't come as naturally or easy in my opinion to find a community um, on this campus because there is none. It really depends on what type of person you are, if you prefer a typical college town slash campus or you know, pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and being in this big city where you don't really know a single person. Something to consider too is that there really is not much outward school spirit. Like you're not going to have these sports events, college football games where you, you know, put face paint and cheer for your team. That's just not really what NYU is about. Um, but I would say that, you know, from the people I know and just like what I've been able to experience, people who attend slash have attended NYU typically have a lot of pride in the school. It's just not, you know, translated into very physical outward school spirit. So that's also something that you want in your four years of college. Uh, NYU is probably not for you. But the flip side, of course, to that is that it is a really, really unique and cool experience to be able to attend college in such a big city like New York City. I came from the suburbs of the Bay Area and, you know, growing up, everyone was very similar to me. Whereas in New York City, like when you're walking on the street, there's students, there's full-time employees, there's tourists. There's just all different types and kinds of people um, in such a small vicinity and that's something that I never experienced growing up myself so definitely eye-opening and glad that I was able to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone and be surrounded by people who are so different from me. So moving on to social life, I kind of touched on this earlier but you know despite there being so many people at NYU and just people in general in the city, it can actually be pretty easy to feel lonely at times, especially your first year, just because you don't have a campus and you're basically being immersed in this gigantic city where you barely know anyone. So it's tough, especially like your first year. But my number one tip would definitely be to explore club life. I feel like joining clubs on campus really helped build my identity through college and brought me some of the closest friends that I still have to this day and there's over 300 active clubs on campus for literally like anything you can think of. There's all university ones, school affiliated ones, and like music ensembles, the list goes on. A lot of times when people apply to NYU or are considering coming, they have this preconceived notion of what type of person would come to this school. But I think through club life, you realize that there's really no shortage of groups of people. And um, if you just look, you definitely can find a community for you you. I also think there's a lot of benefit to joining early. You know, not only is it a great way to meet new people, socialize, explore your interests, but you also set yourself up to potentially get leadership positions that you can gain valuable experience from and utilize when you apply to internships and jobs down the road. As for parties, um, as you can imagine, there isn't like a frat row where people don't have houses in the city. So um, it is a lot more like kickbacks, which is basically small get togethers in people's apartments or on rooftops, which is also why I would recommend joining Club Life, just because you're more likely to know more people if that's something that you are interested in. Outside of that, I would say, you know, bars, K-Town, those are all more popular and you might see like more people at a single gathering type thing but big perk to note is that because you are in the city you know there's never a need for like a DD uh, you just take the subway or uber back to your home so that part is pretty nice 
The last thing I'm going to be touching on in today's video is the resources that NYU offers. Um, it is, like I said, one of the largest private universities in the US, so there definitely are a lot of resources for students. You just have to know what they are and kind of like go out of your way to look for them sometimes. But starting off with like academic resources, there is an academic resource center where you can go for like any academic support, cross school advising, there's like peer tutoring workshops. So I definitely Definitely know people who have gone if they need help with like a writing assignment or just anything really uh, that's there for you uh, you also have your advisors usually you have advisors at your own school um, and they help you you know plan out your schedule see if you're on track if you want to switch majors concentration etc that's what they're there for you for i would say it's definitely a lot more like your own initiative to talk to them if you do have a question like they won't come and reach out to you unless you're like about to fail or something you know what i mean but i actually would recommend talking to an advisor especially if your major like you know that every semester is pretty set like i know like for instance nursing they have a very strict four-year schedule that's like not very flexible whereas stern like you can graduate early pretty easily but well, the reason why i say that is because you know i mean mentioned this very briefly in the start but nyu is like number one in study away and i think there's like 13 or 14 nyu study abroad locations honestly like most people i know studied abroad at one point if that's something that you are interested in um, exploring nyu's global study abroad program then definitely plan out your schedule so that you don't miss an opportunity to live abroad for a semester moving on to career there is the wasserman center and nyu handshake so the wasserman center like you're able to go there for resume workshops cover letters etc and i know like companies will actually like, host interviews there sometimes nyu handshake is an online portal where where companies can post job listings specifically for NYU students. So I think it's a really great opportunity because they're literally looking for people at NYU. So I would like scour all the pages to look for anything when I was like looking for internships or jobs. So definitely very helpful resource to go to. In terms of wellness and health resources, there are both physical and mental resources there to help NYU students. There's obviously like the NYU Student Health Center. Uh, there's access to NYU gyms, which is actually really nice because NYU see gym memberships are so expensive so it's good to take advantage of that when you have a free membership and there's also counseling services um, the wellness exchange where there's also a 24-hour hotline so those are definitely good resources to check out if you do come to NYU besides those you know living in the city can be pretty dangerous especially at night so there are like transportation resources as well I think like past midnight there's something called safe ride that opens which takes you from different NYU building locations. It can take a while, but honestly, like it's free and it's much safer than walking by yourself, especially if you are a girl in the city alone. So I definitely use that a lot when I was in college. And just throughout the day, um, there's also different shuttle buses that run across the city because there are a few NYU buildings that are further away. So they provide that service for you. So you just have to you know look at the schedule and plan accordingly. There's also like a bunch of different other resources, but I just selected a few to share with you guys um, but if you do come to NYU I would definitely take the time to just look at what NYU has to offer because you're paying for it anyway so you might as well get as much as you can for what you're paying for all right this video is getting very long so I'm gonna stop here if you have any additional questions about NYU or just what living in the city is like in general definitely leave it in the comments below and I'll make a part two hope this was helpful thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one bye guys